Happy Thursday. Happy Thursday, you guys, from? Mount St. Helen. Yes, oh my gosh. If you saw our last vlog, we kind of said we were thinking about coming to see it. Yeah, yeah. And we are on our way to see it. We're actually not far now. Well, and it's right behind us. I think somewhere that that's it, right, right behind right there, us. But of all, because of all the smoke, it's so hard to see. Yeah. Um, I mean, even just, I'm sure, I don't know how well the camera's picking it up, but we're, we can barely see it. Yeah, but we're still like seven <laughs> miles from the actual like um, observatory place. So yeah, maybe yeah. we'll be able to get better shots there. Yeah. But we saw this little viewpoint pulled off and thought, man, just a beautiful view here. It is. We keep looking for Bigfoot, but I haven't seen him yet. <laughs> we haven't found him yet. <laughs> he might be sleeping. Yeah, he likes to sleep in. He's not an early riser. Yeah. <laughs> we just met a few folks. They pulled in and were, of course, they seen our truck and were asking about it. Yeah, um, yeah, a gentleman yeah. from Canada and his friend from Ohio. Yeah, yeah. And at Small World, her daughter is from Temple, or lives Temp in Temple, Texas, which yeah. is right by Waco. So. Yeah, she says she goes down there all the time to visit, which yeah. is... Pretty funny. Very cool. Of course, but. they were fascinated by by the sleeper on the truck and stuff. Oh yeah, and yeah, yeah. It's always fun talking to people about what we do and yeah, sharing sharing what we do. You know, yeah. they're like, "Wow, I've never seen nothing like that before." <laughs> yeah. yeah. So we're still in Washington, of yep. course. For those yep. of you who don't know where Mount St. Helens is, but I was telling Jason, I can't believe it's been 40 years since it erupted. It erupted back in 1980. Man. Didn't, didn't your grandpa give you some ash from it or yeah, something? Yeah, I think I still have it in our storage. Yeah, he got some ash from when it erupted way back then and gave it to me. It's in like a little bottle and I've kept it all these years and it's in our storage. But yeah. Birds, um, birds um, want to be in the vlog. They do. They're saying hi. But man, I'm so excited to come see this. This is one of the things that's been on my bucket list to see. It hasn't been high up on the list, but... It's cool that we have some time to come and see it. And yeah, yeah. But again, one of the things I love about the, our lifestyle is getting to do this, you it know? It kind of sucks because of all the smoke, but I, know. I mean, that's nature to you too, you know? It, it's, yeah. That's what happens, but. It's a beautiful day though. I mean, the temperature's nice, low 70s. And I figured since it's a Thursday weekday, there probably won't be a ton of people there. I think we've seen signs that the observatory is closed. Yeah, like I, well, like all the buildings are closed for covid of yeah, course yeah, still but yeah, um yeah. yeah hopefully we'll be able to at least walk up and get a few shots and see it a little better i thought it was bigger like i thought you used to be able to see it from the interstate but i don't think that's uh mount rainier maybe mount rainier yeah yeah yeah, yeah so let's go get closer and see what we can see cool Now that's a little bit of a better view. <laughs> We're a little bit closer now, if you can see it back there. It's still, with the smoke, the fires that are going on and the smoke and stuff. Yeah. You can tell it's really hazy, but yeah, yeah. oh my gosh. So, wow. So big. Yeah, so just to let you know, this this 
to get to Mount St. Helens, I mean, it's not bad. It's like 54 miles off of the I-5 to get back here. Yep. We made it fine in the straight truck. There's a lot of pull-offs. There's a lot of these lookouts that have RV parking that you can definitely get back here in the straight <laughs> truck. You could probably even stay the night in them. Yeah. You we can. haven't seen no signs that say there's tons there's, of RV parking. Yeah. Haven't seen no signs that said no overnight parking. I wouldn't camp out here for a weekend or no. or something, but you could definitely because uh, we stayed at uh, on the I five at the exit to get uh, back. Uh, there was like a dirt lot truck parking yeah, area. Yeah, there was a little truck stop that, there with that we parking. stayed at last night. Coming back here now, you can definitely see there's a lot of spots we could have came even further oh, back yeah. last night. We and we looked on the Google satellite to see, and we saw all these places, but we weren't sure if they would be open because we were going to just come out and stay the night out here to be closer but yeah, yeah. but now we know now to we let know. you guys know but yeah. yeah you take the it's the 504 i guess it's the washington 504 um highway out here it's called spirit lake highway it is closed in the winter time so i don't i don't know you know when they close start closing it down but... i have not seen any signs that say no drone flight either so yeah it's, it's kind of hard though because the, the sun is backlit <laughs> right now it so is. it's making visibility for cameras and even us a little bit harder mm -hmm. so but we're gonna continue on we're not too far now from the observatory point and of course that's all closed you can park there and see and check it out but the buildings are all closed yeah yeah but man it is so pretty out here there's hardly so, anybody out here I've it's seen a so couple quiet cars. it's so quiet oh, it is like you just listen <laughs> this bug, you hear bugs uh, cricketing and flying by and yeah beautiful yeah absolutely beautiful yeah so yeah if you guys are have time so this is a pretty cool yeah check cool out. little day trip to come out here and back yeah, and yeah. man yeah well we're gonna continue on and get closer even. let's go got me hiking a trail <laughs> hey but i brought water yeah this one's already gone <laughs> i grabbed another one <laughs> can't say i'm trying to kill him it, it's an uphill trail too it is. check out beautiful. check out that view i just wish it wasn't so smoky as i could see it better yeah but it's still really cool yeah nice temperatures here too it's warming up yeah i think the truck gauge said 86 there's the truck mm -hmm. down there what i love is uh there's hardly anybody here oh yeah just a bunch of old people showing this fat boy up <laughs> oh that's uphill <laughs> we're almost there to the top of this thing <sighs> it, oh there's more of course Bark at everybody. Hmm? They're just cleaning the truck. They're getting it all nice and clean.
Well, happy, <laughs> happy Saturday. Happy Saturday from Oregon. Yep, Grants Pass. KOA to be exact. Yep, yep. Man, it's cool because uh, <clears throat> this is the KOA I looked at online to see about getting a spot for over the weekend, and it was full. Yeah. So yesterday I called, and they had said they were full, but they took our name and number to in case call. Of, in case of any cancellations. Yeah, and like five minutes later, she called back, and they had a cancellation. So we were able to get a spot. Yeah, yeah, a, it was quick, yeah. right? Yeah, it was quick. Yeah, it was awesome. And this is beautiful out here. Oh my goodness, we have our own little private patio on the side of a hill. Yeah, yeah. Right next to the truck, it's awesome. We had to buy some uh, leveling blocks. And it's so funny because we were when we were just home. We have some in our storage. And Jason said, we should grab those, and we never went and got them. Yeah. And now we needed them. Yeah. So we ended up having to buy some. Yeah. Because <laughs> it was really unlevel. It, it, extremely unlevel. We No way we would have been comfortable all weekend, but... No, but yesterday we uh, stopped at Blue Beacon and got the truck washed because yep. it needed it. It yep. was filthy. Yeah. And then we stopped at a Whole Foods and stocked up the truck again with some groceries. Oh, we stocked up the truck. We did. Oh my gosh, this fridge and freezer <laughs> is stuffed full. It completely full. Like well, I just stuffed... we got enough food for a couple weeks. Oh god, a month, a month probably. A month. Oh my gosh, we got. Well, a... we're cooking a lot in the truck though. We are. We're... We haven't been eating out at all, and we've been eating really low carb. And I'm I'm actually down like what six pounds yeah. total. Yeah, yeah, me too. Yeah, so... yeah, we're both down. Like, yeah, and we're gonna keep at it. Yeah, you know? yeah, we're doing really good. And <clears throat> we've got a brisket and a pork butt. You're gonna grill on the Traeger today. Yep. Yep kind of grilling stuff for the week to make it easier because like you know we've got our run one run already lined up we picked that up monday and we're hoping that we'll get another run next week but oh we'll we see. will we will yeah. we will where we're going it's a really high volume freight area mm -hmm. um we're probably going to be picky and only take uh, a long run unless somebody just calls and says they need help with something but yeah there was a load that came across yesterday or day before we called on but it was one they had to bid on and yeah. they didn't get it yeah. so yeah. but I, yeah we'll get something out of there no problem which yeah. you'll find out where we're going in the next vlog <laughs> <laughs> but this koa like I said it's beautiful they have a waterfall here yes we're gonna go check that out today yeah yeah, and that. a swimming hole. I don't know if we'll go swimming. Yeah, I'll go swimming. Yeah, it's Maybe. supposed to be up in the mid 80s. So, yeah. The name of the waterfall is like Jump Off Jumpin', Joe. Jumping Jack Flash, I was going to say. <laughs> jump Off Joe Waterfall yeah, or something. something. So like maybe that. we could jump from it. I don't know. Yeah, we'll have to go check it out and see. Yeah. But it's so peaceful here. So quiet. Surrounded and, by yeah. woods and yeah, hills. Yeah, yeah. And Weather's nice, cold at night. 80s in the day, yeah. can't go wrong. No, not at all. I'm just glad we were able to get the spot. People ask, you know, how we find RV spots. And I know we've said before, but majority of KOAs have no issue with our truck. I don't think we've ever, well, there was one place we called one time that they said our truck may be too big because they had a lot of trees. Yeah. Um, but the, uh, I tried to explain to her we're the same size as a RV bus, but she just didn't understand. Yeah, I don't think she understood. I mean, this no. place has a lot of trees and. Yeah, yeah. Um, I mean, you keep your trees trimmed up so buses can get in. So. Right, right. <laughs> but mostly KOAs will allow you. And then after that, it's just a matter of getting on Google. Uh, we get on Google Maps, we zoom into the area that we are looking for an RV park, and we just type in RV parks. Yeah. And then we just start making calls. Mm -hmm. um, we've been badly making drop pins uh, on uh, one of our Google accounts, uh, Gmail accounts. So maybe after we get that built up, we'll share we'll, that. Yeah, yeah, we'll share a link so that you can follow those drop pins. Because mm -hmm. you can like follow other people's drop pins that they have on their Google accounts. And so we're making a special Google account with only drop pins for. Truck friendly RV parks. Truck friendly RV parks. Now there's a ton of like uh, Facebook groups out there that a lot of people share that where mm. they've stayed. Hey, this place is great. We stayed here for the weekend and we follow those too, but um, we just, we're, we're trying to make something for ourselves and to share with you guys. Yeah. So, but it'll probably be a while. Cause like I said, we're badly doing it. <laughs> like we keep forgetting. I, we, well, we keep meaning to sit down and just go through and go and mark all the ones we have stayed at but we haven't so but once we get those set up and 
We're working on it. We're working on it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, but it's going to be a beautiful weekend. And yeah. Yeah, man, yeah. I'm excited to be here. It's Clouds so nice. are clear, more clear up here. It is, yeah, yeah. yeah. It was not so a lot of cloud or smoke or. No, so smoky at uh, Mount St. Helens, which, oh my gosh, I'm so glad we got to stop and see that. I wish it would have been a clearer day or, you know, we could have seen it better. But even seeing what, seeing it like that was just amazing. Yeah. Beautiful yeah, was, out there. It, but, it was funny. Patrick sent us a picture. He had drove out there one time. That's, it went, oh, yeah. When they used to drive and he got it with a clear sky. And snow on Snow it. on the yeah. mountain. Yes. And yeah, Man. yeah, really cool. Beautiful. But yeah, let's go check out the waterfall. Cool. Sunday fun day. Happy Sunday. <laughs> what a relaxing weekend. Oh my Long gosh. Weekend. Yeah, we've had such a wonderful weekend. Yeah. And man, that waterfall down there was pretty cool yesterday. Yeah, yeah, it was a little one. I was thinking it was going to be like a big one, like, <laughs> yeah. like the Multnomah Falls or whatever, but it was just a little fall. The water was cold, though. It was. Jason wanted to jump in. I, I was like, no. I was going to jump in. You know, you got to do it for the video, but <laughs> I was like, yeah, no, never mind. <laughs> it was a little chilly. Yeah. And we didn't have swimsuits on. Yeah, no swimsuits, no, none of that, so... <laughs> <laughs> we opted out for that. Yeah, but it was really, really pretty. This is a beautiful KOA. It is, yeah. Uh, it, it, right here in Grants Pass. It's called uh, Grants Pass KOA yeah. or KOA Grants Pass. Yeah. Super nice people here. It was funny, the leveling blocks we got for the truck, I had called up and I had made sure they had them up there before I walked all the way up to the front desk. And they were like, oh, yeah, we got some... Uh, do you want us to put it on your site for you? And I was like, oh, yeah, that'd be great. And then we'll bring them right down for you. And they brought them down to us. I was yeah, like, yeah, very cool. Heck yeah, save me a long old walk. <laughs> yeah, because we're pretty far from the office. Yeah, they put us at the, we're like at the farthest point. We're close to the waterfall, but far from the. Yeah, which is fine. Yeah. Yeah. But, uh, yeah, Jason was actually going to ride the boosted board up there or try to ride the boosted board up there yesterday, but there's... The... It's not all concrete. No. There's some gravel road parts, and then there's concrete parts, and so... Yeah. Yeah, it was a 
really nice people here. So. Oh my gosh, yeah, beautiful, beautiful. Today we're just chilling. I did paperwork this morning while Jason was finishing up some editing. Yeah. And yeah, we're just gonna chill the rest of the day and get ready. We'll be picking up our next load tomorrow. We did some barbecuing last night. Oh, that's right, yeah. We yeah, barbecue. cooked up a bunch of meat for so we can have to eat throughout the week. And mm, it was good. Got some brisket and pork tenderloin, mm -hmm. so yeah. Still loving the Traeger. Oh yeah. Yeah, it is really good. Mm -hmm. I love that thing. Oh yeah. The only other thing I have on the agenda today is rearrange the fridge and freezer. <laughs> yeah, it's so <laughs> full. Like you can't get to nothing. No, <laughs> it's packed. It so is I packed need to, full of food. When we got groceries, I just kind of put everything in where I could fit it and now I need to reorganize it. I'm proud of us. We didn't eat, go eat out or order any Uber Eats this weekend or... No, we're, we're doing we're really good. Sticking to our guns. Yeah. Yep. Yep. Yeah, because I always hate when we go and spend a bunch of money on groceries and then we go eat out. Yeah. And it's like, <laughs> you know, that's just... That's normally what you do, right? I know. It, it's funny. We we went grocery shopping and we didn't eat before we bought stuff. And, of course, we bought all kinds of stuff. And that's like the golden rule. Like, you don't go shopping while you're hungry. <laughs> yeah, and I was bummed because, man, Whole Foods, I love their salad bar. Or we oh, love their salad yeah, bar, yeah, you know, yeah, making your own yeah. salad. But, of course, with everything going on, nothing the salad bars and stuff yeah. they don't have anything out on them and even when we were home this past weekend we wanted to go eat Jason's Deli because we like yeah, their salad bar yeah. we didn't even think about it when we walked in and they didn't have anything out for the salad bar because up. of the COVID stuff so yeah. yeah crazy but man yeah we had such an enjoyable few days off seeing we Mount did. St. Helens yep. chilling here at this beautiful campground but we got a super long run we do. next week you'll find out in the next vlog yeah. i'm excited and like i said hopefully we get another one after that make it a busy week yeah and yeah knock it out of the park again yeah because this week we just had the one run which was a good run yeah. it, was, it was good you know for the money and yeah. for the miles and all that and, and the next one's good too but it would be <coughs> nice to next have, one's a, good. have another one yeah, the next one's really good, and then if we could get a one over the weekend and knock next week's out of the park, and then it averages out. Like, we had a really good week, our first week back. An okay week. Okay week, and then another really good week. It, it makes that okay week really good, too, because the two combined. So, yeah. that's how we look at it, at least. You know, yeah. we're not always going to have banger weeks out here. No. So. No. Well, I think that's all we got. I think so. We're just going to have a <laughs> peaceful, relaxing rest of the day. Yep. Get back to it tomorrow. Yep. So we're going to end it here. Let's end it here. All right. Thank you guys as always for watching and subscribing. And until our next video. Peace, love, and expediting.